Hello, I'm super excited to introduce AlphaCodium, which is a first of its kind open source tool that enables you to compete on coding competition and do better than a majority of human competitors. Well, let's start from the beginning. AlphaCodium is developed by Codium AI and mainly by the first author, Tal Rednick. I'm Itamar Friedman, the CEO and co-founder. Let's talk about our inspiration. Back in the days in 2016, there was a GAN architecture, right? We loved it. There was a generative model and adversarial model, model, and they worked together to help each other to train better, right? But then the generative model became so good and generating test, text, sorry, images and audio that we dropped the adversarial model. But at Coding AI, we believe that in order to generate high quality, actually working code for your software, we do need to bring back the GAN architecture at, uh, at some, to some extent. We think there should be a model that actually generate code and a model, for example, that generate tests, um, makes reflections and even uh, does spec matching. It could be two different models, for example, each one of them fine tuned on different data set, or it could be the, the, the same uh, model, but used differently, like in a flow, in a system. And that brings us to Alpha Codium. Uh, this is a high level architecture of Alpha Codium flow. Uh, it starts with uh, getting the input, for example, from the CodeForce uh, code contest, and then having uh, a series of pre-processing -pre steps where uh, Alpha Codium reflects on the problem, re like reframe it in a way that's easier for the model to, to understand, eventually lead, uh, reaching to a first code solution. It then also generates additional test uh, that helps it to refine the solution and reach to the final one that actually is working and it reaches really good results we're going to talk about it. Uh, so um, let's visualize this, the, the results of this process, the, the output, the, the, the impact of this process I just described. Let's assume there is an Oracle uh, generator that generates the blue cloud solution for a given problem. If you try to take the problem definition and throw it on, for example, GPT-4 with a direct prompt, you'll get something like the red solution here on the left. And in most cases, and it actually won't, won't work. Code either works or, or not, okay? Um, then with uh, Alpha Codium proposed solution, we actually also exploit the, the public tests that are available uh, with the contest. And if you have a real software, you can generate by yourself uh, a couple. And then with the iterative flow, you can exploit that to generate a better solution, but it still doesn't work. Again, software usually works or, or not. And then finally, Alpha Codium, in our Alpha Codium work, we also suggest to generate additional tests with, with AI. And in Alpha Codium, we, we propose a method. It's, it's a smart one, although quite uh, uh, straightforward, to generate tests that are trying to find the edge cases in order to um, generate a solution that actually works. Great. So this is the result that I presented in, uh, in the beginning. So like you can see, that, that Alpha Codium does much better than Alpha Code uh, 1 in a sense that it might reach like similar result in the accuracy, but it's actually practical because in alpha code by DeepMind, you need like 1 million calls to an LLM to generate a solution for one problem. While with alpha codium, it's actually 100 uh, LLM calls. By the way, uh, DeepMind released like one month ago, I think, alpha code two, which with the same amount of uh, LLM calls, calls, let's say 100, they're not really clear about it. I'm giving them some credit here. Uh, they reached a similar result to alpha codium, but um, alpha code two, is, uh, um, uses the Jiminy Pro model that is fine-tuned for this specific code contest, okay? While uh, Alpha Codium enables you to use any non-fine-tuned model like uh, Alpha, uh, like GPT-4 or even an open source uh, model. That leads us, uh, so it's actually more practical, right? Like it probably has more, better uh, generalization property. So that leads us to, to the next uh, um, slide where we show the results on the code contest competition, uh, which was introduced by AlphaCode, by the way. And with AlphaCodium, we also uh, provide actual reproducible code that you can try to do your own research on code contest. And we show how you can use AlphaCodium with uh, GPT-4, 3.5, and even like open source model like DeepSeek, that some of them are actually doing not so bad if you take the best, uh, the best one. Okay, um, with the Alpha Codium work, we released a paper and a blog, and we introduced some of the best practices how to use LLM for code generation. So I really recommend you to check out our uh, like our paper. You can reach that from our open source uh, uh, project as well, which uh, leads me to the last slide. Uh, please do visit our open source and of course, uh, uh, try it, open issues, uh, open suggestion, and of course, start it uh, to, to, to support us. That was uh, really grateful to have you as part of our Codium AI community and seeing you trying Alpha Codium as well as other open source that we have, which is called PR Agent and other tools. Thank you so much. Bye bye.